Hello guys and welcome to another game of Legion TD. So for this game we'll be playing the standard mode PRCCX3 and looks like the ELO is close to equal. Now what do I actually want to go for here? kind of feel like lumbering this game and so we're gonna go for Dwarven si Goblin Scientists upgrade in upgraded into Dwarven Engineers. I also feel like placing three of these wolves. Now the wolves are quite strong. For sure. We're gonna skip out on the aura. Necromancer, I'll, I'll start building for five later on. There's no reason for us to build for it right away. I'm kinda leaning towards... I think let's get the frost wolves. I prefer frost wolves over... Um, I prefer frost wolves over ogres because these are... I would say tankier in the more crucial rounds, uh, like for 5. And they also have a slow that is especially strong against 7. Especially when the creeps are clumped up together. Checking our build of the build of our allies looks like everyone is not gonna leak the first round. Yeah, two skeletors should be enough. Blood raiders are strong along with ghouls. So yeah, everyone should be able to clear the first round very well. Now I'm gonna wait for five seconds before I can start upgrading my lumberjack training. So yeah, here we go. Um, for the next round, I am considering placing a couple of Kiwis and I think we can place it in a way that it can be buffed by the Medicine Man. Although generally, I don't like placing a Medicine Man on tier, tier 1 units. So, might be that we'll skip out on it for now. But we'll see. It does look like the enemies are clearing quite slowly here. Mm. So yeah, that gives us time to lumber up. That that is a tree. That is a tree. It kills two creeps every second, and not right away. So it takes two attacks for them to bring the creeps down. Now we will be able to build two PVs for the next and. Uh, uh, if we have excess gold, then we're gonna spam a couple bit more unupgraded. So not veterans yet, but into PVs in preparation for 3 because there's also a big potential that they send 3. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll get the veterans and we'll have enough for... Yeah, 2 PVs. Oh, I should change the set. Yeah, 2 PVs. I'm still confident to challenge this round because of how well the Dwarven Engineers are able to clear the first few rounds. It's quite weak on 4 and 5, um, but hopefully we'll get better units for that round later on. This round, it should be no problem for us to challenge, and it does look like we will have enough to send on, on 3. Um, ELO wise, there are two uh, high ELO players on their side, 1900 and 1900. So, if my allies do want to send on 3. Should, I think we'll have enough time for it. And just as I thought, we should be able to clear this with no problem. Now for the next round, I would say that we are quite strong against it. Having uh, a lot of normal damage and splash damage as well. I don't want to go for one more wisp here. <clears throat> this guy's gonna leak. At least they're leaking a lot more. Maybe we could have checked first, but for this uh, ELO ranking, um, people are usually 
quite slow in sending. Someone call for the doctor. Where's the like, son of this guy? It's still up time, but we'll stay 7 2 for now. Be able to get some, yeah, quite some. Best not to challenge this round, best not to test it. Ooh, had I not gotten that last one, then I will have had enough gold for an Overseer. But yeah, I generally don't like going for Auras very early on. Now I'm considering getting one more Wisp. Yeah, if I have to go more Wisp, I think 4 Accolades should be enough. I'm gonna send one more Furb here, just so everyone will receive their fair share of auras. <clears throat> more ops. My life for the Lord. Yeah, everyone's able to send, and look at that, they didn't send. Maybe they're confident to hold us. Um, Kind of worried about sending here because they had uh, hell raiders, had two of them. So if it was able to build for proper tanks, it should uh, be able to surely hold this round. Hopefully, we can capitalize on this though. is a substantial leak. I think there's someone from them who held though. Mm, looks like no one did. Let's see here. They're a pinking. Not too much though. Um, but they're not upgrading any attack and so it might be that they're only going to be they're going to lose two heals here. Potentially even three if they're not gonna attack. Upgrade the uh, HP at all. Nah, just two, I guess. There are a lot of whelps though, and they're able to target it well. Good chain control, I would say. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're strong for the next round. Okay, this guy's quite reserved. this if they go next then I'm very confident uh, a sphere of darkness should be very strong against it hopefully uh, okay one guy already challenged so let's hope they really don't send what else should we go for here? Okay, I was able to build two night crawlers, so that's good. Let's press the attack on our units. Okay, we didn't send it. And we will have an archer for the next round, so that's good. Uh, I think had they sent here, they wouldn't have been able to break us. Still have a lot of backlines alive, but... I don't think I could have challenged this round. Had I challenged this, then definitely would have leaked. 
Now this guy who challenged looks like he's struggling and I think he is ultimately going to leave this. Let's check. Where's done? At least they're leaking more once again. Oh, this guy's not leaking, is he? He's gonna leak. What, just one, I guess. No, he's not. Oh, he is. <laughs> he's going to leak one. Uh, I feel like they're strong next, but then again, they have a Lord of Death. These are heavy armor. You can blitz them, then you can probably take them down. send a warrior here let's look at the king skill it's stomp so we did a good job sending hmm, sending chariots there and i will have enough for three archers i'm skipping out on the aura for the meantime i think this is way better my allies are not yet uh, lumbered up very well he hasn't been able to upgrade his um, trees as well, but I think he should be strong against this round as Mavericks can clear quite fast paired with Violets That should be strong As for this guy, he does have decent um, Pierce Still potentially would leak though this guy I think this guy would also leak Not to undermine my allies, but just stating the reality of their build if the enemies are here of course If they sent but hugely, but we do have an what we do have one heal advantage. Keep it right away here. Now I don't have a lot of tanks, and so they can be able to get to my back lines right away. But I do have a lot of uh, significant piercing damage, and so we're able to clear quite some. Holding 37, this guy held better. Uh, generally, the enemies held better as well. Research complete. I take the king. I like taking king because sometimes when my allies take the king, they're not able to upgrade while using the king because they don't have a hot key on their king. On their, <laughs> on their uh, town hall. Okay. So we'll kill the dino so that our stat won't get slowed. Finish off the chariots. They only now have one heal left, but there are a lot more units alive for us. There are some archers though, which is good. Start taking down the the what do you call this? Let's make sure not to kill them straight. I think this will still be enough for us for them to break us though. To to get more take one more heal from us. Fortunately. Oops. Oof, I wasn't. I wasn't in time. Now this will this will be our last lumber. We need to hold for our team against the the incoming seven send. As for the next round, we should be able to challenge this. I think I am going to go for three outcasts here. That should be strong tanks. Let's also hope for more peers for the next round. It does feel like we are low, we're low lumbered. <laughs> yeah, she challenged that. Other allies are not challenging. This guy is pushing some more lumber, but we, after all, we need someone to lumber up for us. Hopefully, 
Hopefully Orange is gonna be able to hold very strongly against the next round. <clears throat> now we don't have a slow aura which is quite concerning the enemy creeps can get to our back lines especially if we're not going to be able to clear them fast enough and my back lines are mostly fortified armor i mean sorry uh light armor they, uh, they could be taken down quite easily by the say tiers We'll have decent value against the next round, however. This good. Someone's leaking. I guess that's good. Is there losing economically? Some gold economically. A lot of um, Hellraisers for this guy. Hopefully, he doesn't have a lot of tanks. Hopefully, he's over lumbered. Okay, let's prioritize the tanks. Should I go for a 12th fighter? I don't think I'm gonna benefit too much from it. Uh, not, not for now, I guess. Let's see. Will we be able to upgrade three of these? No. Two of these, and then we'll turn one into Dark Mage. I think this is the perfect setup. Now, I also will be sending Wyvern and a Dino just to break their lines a little bit more. Uh, Wyverns, after all, uh, reduces enemy armor. I would say not the biggest end, but still, still should be enough to break them as two of them leaped the last round. I'm gonna press the attack here. Just so they won't get to the dark green circle, at uh, the dark green area. Now at this point, it's not it's no longer worth it to um, lumber up. It's better to just upgrade the king straight away. I have 4 3 value, I'm quite confident that I can somehow hold this. I still have one more outcast alive. This guy's holding, that's great. Great. Okay, two of us were able to hold. It might be that someone held from their side as well. Yeah, they were able to hold strongly. I don't think this is enough number of chariots for us to lose a heal here though. This is quite a bit of gold that didn't go to our side however, so a bit unfortunate. that we're gonna go lumber as well they could potentially resend on nine and so we're not going to challenge that as for as for eight though we should be we should be fine um i'm going to go for these guys they're mag they are magic damage and so they can be quite strong for nine and I think I'm going to save 
up my gold for for the next round. This should be enough to challenge. Uh, I think for good measure, let's just place this one here. Job done. Upgrade complete. Yeah, I didn't spend all of my gold because um, we're gonna wait for a stronger roll before we spend it all. I wouldn't say not the best one either. I think we have no choice but to use it up though. So we just might go for we might go for spiders instead. Allies didn't challenge here. It's it looks like we are getting de decently lumbered for the next round though. Or ten I should say. Okay. It might be the Dogai leaking here is their lumber. Or maybe he just messed up a little bit. Nevertheless, so it would be quite hard to break them. On the upside though, they have Archer and Hell Ghosts which are very strong against them. So they might leak faster than we than we will. This guy has good peers. He did go for a lot of lumber however. And so he lost quite a bit of value. Job done. Um, place it here. Place a tree here for sustain. Usually good. Considering going for one more outcast. Yeah, let's go for it. And then we'll just spam these guys to be upgraded the next round. Done. Don't have Job a lot done. of peers yet. Job done. Upgrade complete. Job Upgrade done. Complete. Upgrade complete. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. Job done. I don't think they'll be able to break us here. Oh, look at that uh, value difference all of a sudden. This guy was a while ago was 43 or something. They sent here. The good thing no one challenged. Let's see if our build is strong enough against this round. Good thing we didn't pierce up too much as well. It's a very strong send coming from them, however. And we don't have a lot of magic damage. I'm mostly banking on my sustain coming from the tree. This might be enough though. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold everyone else's lead, even if I hold mine here. Lead quite a lot. My presence. a lot it might just be enough to take us down to call from them sending on nine
losing streak continues. I think this is my fifth consecutive loss or something. Ah, the game is hard, but that's what makes it better. Uh, I love the challenge. Like, if we keep winning all the time, it's going to make us a feel bored for this game, right? So, let's keep losing. <laughs> let's keep losing, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you again next time.